Dr. Hamid, welcome. Pleasure to be with you, Mark. Ahlan wa sahlan. Ahlan bik, habibi. Hey, would you just tell our listeners a little bit about your background? Yeah, actually, I was born in Egypt, Cairo, in 1961. Uh -huh. uh, and I was born for a very secular family. My father was an atheist, or you can call him agnostic. He didn't believe in God. He was a communist, actually. Hmm. My mother was a liberal French teacher. And our family was not much into religion mm. or, or it was just part of the culture, mm. nothing more than this. Around the age of 15, 15 and a half, I was reading in a biology book. And I was reading about the structure and function of the DNA molecule. And I'll tell you, Mark, what happened truly to me was I was so impressed, captivated mm. with the power, mm -hmm. the beauty, the majesty of this wonderful creator who managed to create this amazing molecule. So I started to, to, to feel that I should find him. Where is he? And I started to try to find him everywhere. This enthusiasm in religion was unfortunately taken in, in, a, in a wrong path. I was invited initially, which was, was, it looked bad, but it turned to be good. I was invited to read the words of Jesus Christ, to criticize them so that we, we start having some debates with, hmm. with the, the Christians in our school. Interesting. Okay, so, high school. They, so your teacher said, read these words so we can to criticize. To criticize the words of oh, Jesus Christ. Interesting. And I still remember the very first moment I read mm -hmm. in, in the gospel. It was John. And, and, and uh, I uh, uh, read in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. And I said to myself, oh, this is impressive. Let me read more from this man. And I was so, so impressed with his teaching. The beauty of, 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 of the teaching of Jesus was, in my view, was the ability to make your conscience continuously work. Hmm. He never told you to do or not to do. He just asked you to use the conscience that God has created in you and to, to do to others what they want to do to you. Yeah. It was so simple, yet so powerful. Mm. And he just summarized it all when he said to, to the man who asked him, what shall I do to inherit the kingdom? He said to him, just follow the first two commandments. Love your Lord God from your heart, your soul, and your whole mind, and love your fellow man. So it was so simple. Uh, yet very powerful. So I was so impressed with, with his teaching. I'll tell you what happened. And after this stage, I went to the medical school in Cairo. And uh, uh, despite this teaching that I received personally from Jesus himself, there was no church, no one in between. It was a personal... Just by yourself. Yeah, absolutely. That's interesting. By myself. No p teacher for me. It was him mm -hmm. himself. So what happened, I was invited to join the Jama'a Islamia, which was a, an Islamic group in our medical school. Jama'a Ismaila, isn't that uh, re fairly radical? It's very radical. It was considered, it, it's considered later on a terrorist Islamic organization. <sighs> so that's the problem. They, they prepare the grassroots, they gather. And what happened to me was, was a sort of uh, enthusiasm as, as a young person. And the whole nation was talking about revival of Islam. Everyone was talking about it. And it was legal in our medical school, so I just joined it because of the enthusiasm. But you can see, say my body and my uh, uh, physical uh, uh, being was into it. But the, the words of Jesus was very deep in the heart. And I have to admit that at some stage I was brainwashed totally by, by their uh, 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 um, radical teaching to a level that I thought to go and share in crimes or terrorism or things like that. So, doctor, you went from a kind of an atheist family yes. to a committed Muslim that began brainwashing with radical yes. militant teachings. Absolutely. Who, didn't you have an instructor who's well known today? And Yeah, Dr. Ayman al-Zawahri, who I met, who became later on second. Zawahri? Al-Zawahri. Ayman al-Zawahri. We used to call him Dr. Ayman, just Dr. Ayman. And he was one of your mentors. He is one of my mentors among He's many others. He's one of the others. most wanted men in the world. Yes. And, <laughs> and, and, and he is a man, again, I, I, I know he is criminal, he is a terrorist, but believe me, Mark, if this man got proper education that directed his passion toward religion and God, if he got an education that directs him just simply to the path of love, instead of the path instead of the path of hate 
things would have completely changed. So this is an important point. You believe that if people are put on the right path, yes, al mustaqim, al mustaqim, yeah, the right path, straight path, yes. that they can go either to, they will go to the the ideas of love and the construct of love rather than the ideology of hate and radicalism. Absolutely. And he is no exception. There is no exception, I believe so. It's just education. It all depends on the way you teach and talk about God. If you, if you see a passion in me and you directed him, it in the path of love and harmony mm -hmm. and peace and reconciliation and respect and tolerance and mutual understanding, I will have these features. So if you just told me that if you love God, you have to hate others, then I can go into a totally wrong path. So, totally wrong path. So it's just like nuclear energy. You can give a light to a city with it and you can destroy a city. But with you're it. saying another thing too, I think, if I hear you right, yeah. that no one's beyond the reach of God. No one. Because I was totally uh, uh, blinded by their teaching. I thought to burn uh, 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 ch uh, churches at some state. I thought to go to Afghanistan to join in the in, jihad? in the jihadi group, Ooh. violent jihad, not personal one inside. And I thought mm -hmm. really in nearly every crime you can imagine in the name of, of God. And I was invited, this was the most crucial moment in, in, in my life when I was invited to share with one of the leaders of the Jama'a Islamiya. His name was Ahmad Omar, who was the leader of the fourth year. Yes. And he invited me to join with them to kidnap a police officer and bury him alive beside a mosque. And in this particular moment, I felt I am, I'm shaken from within. It was like a moment when I felt the, the word that, that's just pulsatile, was pulsatile in my heart, was what does it profit a man if he gained the whole world and loses his mm. own soul?